Okay, we're checking the traps this morning. If they don't do good, we're gonna relocate a couple of them anyway. And uh, so far, uh, okay. And they're small too. We're really looking for the larger ones now. Okay, like I said, we're gonna relocate a couple of the traps. We think we found the spot. So there's usually a whole bunch of crawdads in here. So we'll find out, give it a few days and come back and check them. Okay, back to the Alpo brand. I don't know, it seemed to do really good a couple weeks ago, so we're gonna try it again. First trap in the water. Uh, it's not real deep, but hey. Uh, <laughs> Can I go off to the middle now? Yeah, it, it should be ah. deep enough. And there's a lot of crawdads in here, so. Um, normally we don't have them sticking out, and I wouldn't recommend that if you're in a public area, I'll tell you that. Trap would be gone. We're in private. Better. We're in private property, so it's fine for ours ours to be seen. Put it that way. Okay, we got one more. We're gonna throw out, but you know, I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna do really, really good here. So. Okay, going to check the other traps. We've relocated a couple of them. Hopefully they're going to pay off. Okay, we're at the spot. Something. Whoa, big bullfrogs. It's that big? They're that, that big. big? That big. Wow, that was big bullfrog is right then. We got crawdads. Cool. Well, yeah, we did better in another spot. Let me back up out of your way there. Oh yeah, much better in fact. Hmm, it was well worth moving the trap, huh? Or For traps. sure, look at all those reds. We left two at the old spot and brought two to uh, the new spot, so. Worked out of, good. Yeah, a lot of reds in there. And they're bigger here too. Yeah, Our other some uh, larger reds for sure. The other There's a lot of small and mediums too though. Oh, okay, the other spots seem to be and small. And some polywogs. Yeah, they've never worked good for bait for me. Not for us, no. <laughs> I don't know. All they right. say they work anyway. Okay, well let's get a, get a bucket and get those out of it. Dang, quite a bit. Oh yeah, much better. There's a lot there in fact. <laughs> we got one more trap out there to check still too. What's that? Polywog? Polywog going back in. I think there's another one right here. This one's got legs. All right. It's going to be a bullfrog real soon. Metamorphous. A few little dead ones, but overall oh, they're all alive. A few alive. dead? Oh well, that ain't too bad. Yeah. Hmm, there is some little guys too. I see them climbing uh, the side of the thing here. See them? Yep. That looks good. Okay, get them in the bucket. Both are in the bucket, but a few uh, loose ones. Yeah, I wonder if it was the Alpo. I doubt it. It's a spot. But. But we did put it in that alpha dog food, so. Of course, this one's going back out. Okay, the other trap we set a little ways down the creek, so. We gotta go down this way. Well, this one's tucked, huh? Oh, it did very good, too. Oh, man. Ooh, something stinks. There's a big dead muskrat in there. Is that what it is? Yep. Pepe Le Pew. Well, we ain't eating these craws. We're using them for bait, but Ugh. it really smells right here right now. All it's right, probably good. good this is on film for you. Peppy the Pew. Uh, yeah, I see them in there. It's funny how they get in that little crawdad hole. Yeah. I wonder if he was in there to eat crawdads, you know? Or maybe he just went in there. I don't know. Who knows what the hell they do. No more muskrat love for that guy. Mm -mm. 
It would probably make good bait still, but I don't know. It's just too stinky and rotten for us. Wouldn't face camo though, I bet. No. <laughs> camo grabbed that by its tail and, I don't know, hook it up. I mean that in the best way, of course, camo. Okay, John went to get a stick or something to remove that uh, muskrat, so uh, bear with us for a moment. Well, John's using two sticks. I guess like chopsticks, I don't know. I can get them right. Whatever works, yeah. I don't know if this is going to work. Definitely don't want to touch it. And if we dump it out, of course, all the crawdads go all over the place. So. Oh, oh, you almost had them. I don't know why we always come across dead things. I see dead things. For real. He hadn't been in there too long. He's not totally rotted. He no. just smells. I mean, he's not decayed, and the craws haven't even uh, really ate him up, for that matter. Wow. Let's take a closer look at him. Ooh, absolutely gross, so. Ooh, well. Oh, I guess just throw him in the bushes, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Take Look it out of your way. Okay, now the release. Put some crawdads over there, eat it. Well, uh, they'll get full on that thing. Okay, well, that was a little interesting, yeah, I guess. Baby, baby crappie. Oh, really? Let's see it. I don't even know if he's still alive. Yeah, crawdads have no mercy, so. Doesn't look like he's been touched. Okay, well, let's put him back in the water then. Okay, okay threw him over there, huh? Yeah. Got rid of the little crappy. Uh, Did okay. good again. Yeah. They're not as big as I thought, though. Yeah. They're kind of like medium smalls. I don't know. Got a lot though. Yeah, you get a amount. Didn't even have to hand pick either. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, pretty good. Damn. You got a lot of craws. Well, that was cool. It was well worth moving a couple traps. Um, we're not going to check other traps today, so uh, they very well could be terrible because they have been lately, so. Maybe we found a new spot, period, I don't know. Like I said, they're draining the water too, that can be a problem. Gotta keep an eye on it. Okay, back in the water. We'll check them next time we're out here. Okay, cool. We had a good day, some good bass, Definitely. some good crawdads. Some bass action, some craws again. Yeah, can't complain, I caught a big oh. bass on a rat, so that was yeah. good, and we caught a rat in the crawdad trap. It was yeah. a rat day, I'd say. Exactly. Ratalicious. Rat attack. Rat right. attack. Later days. Yeah.